hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I appreciate the support. Thank you guys for commenting if the video resonates. I really like hearing your stories too, so thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing. I'm going to get right into the reading, so whatever the cards want to say. As always, I do channel multiple energy groups on here, so only take it if it resonates. If it's your story, it should make sense to you, so never try to force it to fit. Four of Cups, Two of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune. The Moon. Knight of Cups. What's the moon? What are, what's being hidden here? Because the moon is it's like mystery, intuition. It can be about, often it's about things that are hidden. Things that are subconscious or the shadow self, but it's just things that haven't quite come to light. That's how I usually see it. I think these two wanted to pop out. Let's see. Nine of Cups, Knight of Wands. The Hierophant, the King of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Queen of Wands. It feels like someone just ended something with a third party, and it feels like they want to come towards this Queen of Wands in a very passionate, charismatic way. Um, we've got the Four of Cups and the Two of Cups. So it's like... I feel like someone got rejected here, and it was a potential soulmate or a karmic. I think it's this Queen of Pentacles that got rejected, because we have the Wheel of Fortune here, which is a karmic cycle wrapping up, and I feel like the moon is trying to say that's what's hidden, is that this just wrapped up. Whatever this person had with this Wheel of Fort with this uh, Queen of Pentacles could be an Earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but I feel like either she ended it or he ended it, either way, or it could be two men and two women, take it as it resonates. But it feels like that's what's hidden. That's what they're keeping from you. This could even be a situation where you've met somebody new and they're deciding that they would rather pursue you. And so they're kind of just, they want to have integrity. So they're just kind of ending this behind the scenes so that they can come forward and pursue you. For others, I think, I think for most of you, actually, I think you're well aware of this third party. But I feel like this person didn't really want to come back towards you until they could come correctly. So, and this person might be kind of stubborn too. It feels like they're trying to hide it and just kind of deal with it all alone. Um, deal with it behind the scenes before they come forward with this Knight of Cups energy. But it feels like, I don't know, I was almost tempted to say like fuckboy energy here with like the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Wands. Because the Knight of Wands can be very passionate, but it can also be like the fuckboy or fuck girl of the deck, honestly. Um... And it's like they want their wishes fulfilled with you. But then we had the Hierophant and the, the King of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. And then we have you, the Queen of Wands here after that. So I feel like they actually... How do I explain this? This person might have been like a fuckboy type in the past. And I feel like they're actually wanting to do better. They're wanting to do right by you. This could even be somebody that wanted to... And see, I don't know if I would take this person back necessarily if I were you, because for some of you, this could be someone that wanted to kind of go explore their options. They wanted to go have fun. They wanted to see what else was out there. They, you know, maybe wanted to pursue this person. And then they realized that the grass wasn't greener on the other side of the fence. And now they're ending it with this person and they're wanting to come back towards you. But it just seems a little shady because it's like, why? You're the queen of wands. You're already more valuable than this woman is honestly like you're already you're more passionate more charismatic you just I feel like you just have just the energy I'm getting at least you know I always channel different energies too I primarily channel the tarot is just kind of a tool but um but yeah I, I just I just feel like you are always the better option but this person didn't really see it before for some of you, like I said, for others, it might not have even been that they didn't see it. It might have just been that when they met you, they were tied up in this situation and they decided they would rather pursue you even though you're new to them. Um, 
And so now they're wrapping this up so that they can actually ask you out on a proper date. But for others of you, if this is like an old person, it does seem like maybe they were kind of shady in the past, like they slept around a lot. Maybe they cheated. Maybe they kind of had a bit of a player energy. They... <laughs> It's like they always wanted something new. They always wanted something new and exciting. And for a while, this Queen of Pentacles was, you know, that new and exciting thing. So so take this, you know, take it as it resonates. There's a couple different storylines here. Because for some of you, it really is shady that they went with this person. But for others, it's like if it's new, it kind of makes sense. You know, if you met them when they were already with them, what are what are they going to do? You know, it's, it's not it's not their fault. Um. But anyway, it does it does seem like they're wrapping something up here or something's ended here, whether it's her that wrapped it up or whether it's him. But I do feel like they want to be stable for you because the Hierophant is traditions. It's social institutions. It's also it can be about marriage and commitment. King of Pentacles is a man that's, you know, mentally stable, financially stable, very grounded, very earthy energy. And then four of wands can be like peace, harmony, stability. And then they're seeing you as the queen of wands. So I feel like what the cards are, are saying here is that, you know, even if they've had this energy in this past, maybe kind of a player wanted to explore their options. I feel like they're trying to be more stable. They're trying to be more grounded. They are thinking about a commitment with you, even if they're not naturally the commitment type. I feel like they they're starting to they recognize that you're a catch, whether they've always recognized it or whether they're just recognizing it. It's like they want that that stability with you let me see what else is going on here ten of wands the hanged man i feel like they could have even gone through some kind of almost death and rebirth type process here like i mean i think this person again two different storylines here that's why it gets a little bit confusing because it's like if it is an old person then it's like they had to go learn those karmic lessons the hard way and they had to kind of get it out of their system. Like they had to go explore their other options and kind of learn the hard way that the grass wasn't greener on the other side. But it's like, do you really want them back after all that when they, you know, they're only just now recognizing that you're the, you were the queen of wands all along. But like I said, for others, it's like if this is a new person, it does make sense that they would, you know, if they were already wrapped up in something when they when you guys met, that they had to kind of wrap it up behind the scenes, but they've always known your worth. Um, maybe they just wanted to get to know you better, too, and really make sure it was worth pursuing before giving up on, you know, something that was stable. It might have been boring, but they might have been together for a long time, or they just... It, they might have been kind of behind the scenes, like choosing between you and another person. And what you don't see with the, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Moon here is that they, they chose you. Maybe you never even knew that it was, you know, between you and someone else. Maybe they were just kind of casually talking to you, but keeping their distance as they wrapped things up with this other person. But I, I feel like this King of Pentacles, I feel like he or she... With the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Wands is like the straw that broke the camel's back. Ten of Wands is... It's just very heavy burdens. It's like taking on way more than you can carry. This could be someone with a very busy work schedule or someone who's just mentally exhausted. Maybe he, this person has been kind of at war with themselves. But And I, I feel like it's also referencing the, whatever this relationship was. And it's like there was the straw that broke the camel's back. Something happened between these two where one or both of them was just like this is this is done this karmic lesson is over i don't i don't want this anymore they wrapped it up and there's a new perspective here tell me more about this page of wands six of wands eight of yeah i feel like they're gonna because these there's a lot of cards here about messages because pages can be about messages eight of wands can also be a message Wands, wands are about passion. Wands are, are fire energy. And I feel like this person's wanting to come forward quickly. They want success and victory with you. They want to send you a passionate message. There's like there's a lot of romantic in it. Yeah, the sun. The lovers. Yeah, that's what you don't see is that they, they were juggling. They were, they were trying to choose between you and someone else. Or they were possibly even already dating someone else that you just never knew about. It could be one of those situations where it's like they had a boyfriend or a girlfriend or they had like an ex that they were still hung up on and maybe they weren't together, but they were considering trying to get back together with this ex. 
Um, and then you come along, like if, if this is new for you, then it's like you come along and then they, they kind of study you for, for a little bit because they want to weigh their options. They're like, okay, if I really give up on this X and I ask this, this queen of wands out, um, and you're very unfamiliar to them because they're a king of pentacles. She's a queen of pentacles. So they were very compatible. You guys are a little bit different, honestly. Um, like you might be more passionate and this person might be a little bit more grounded than you are, but I think you're still going to be compatible in the sense that like your differences are going to balance each other out. Like, even though you guys are different, you're not like the same suit here. It's like, you're still, there's still going to be that chemistry and that attraction, that connection and a lot that you guys can teach each other. So it's like, even though there's the, the differences, it's like those differences, well, like they're, they're positive differences. You know what I mean? Like they're, maybe like surface level differences and there's things, they're just kind of like things that will just, you know, balance each other out. Like, um, I'm trying to think of an example. Um, okay. Nothing's coming to mind. I don't know. You'll, you'll know it when it comes, <laughs> it's going to be different for all of you. But, um, but yeah, if they were thinking about pursuing their ex again, maybe out of loneliness, even this person could have, um, Maybe I'll even do a reading on that because I feel like I don't know if this King of Pentacles is is subscribed here, but I almost feel like I want to do a reading on that now because there's someone that is considering pursuing an ex and I don't think it's gonna I think it's like out of loneliness. It's it's like I feel like this King of Pentacles has like been trying to find the right person. And maybe they've dated around and it's like they're just not compatible and now they're they've you know, maybe been kind of considering just going back to an ex and like they're not, they don't fully want that, but it's like the loneliness is kicking in and they're like, well, I want to have someone, I want to have someone to go out and do things with. And then it's like this queen of wands comes along and I feel like this king of pentacles is just like really at a point where he's just like, does not want to be by himself anymore, you know? So I think there's like that part of him that like wants to go back to the familiar, like, okay, well, it might not be great with his queen of pentacles. It might be boring or unstable or whatever, but like, at least it's predictable. Whereas with you, it's like, you're the queen of wands. You're mysterious. You're passionate. You're adventurous. You're all these different things. Like he might not hundred percent know what to make of you. So it's almost like he wants to kind of, you know, learn about you a little bit first, make sure that this is the best option. Um, before he completely, you know, disregards the idea of pursuing his ex again and actually like, you know, takes that, that step here with you. Tell me more about these two, this King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. I feel kind of sad for this King of Pentacles because I almost feel like he just thinks there's something wrong with him at this point. But I feel, I feel, I feel like he, let him tell me more about this. Give me a second. Hold on. Sorry about that. three of wands so it just kind of feels like he's been rejected by a lot of women that he saw as like the queen of cups it's like I feel like he does like women that are nurturing and emotional and um empathetic and caring I mean who doesn't like that but you know some some men kind of go for like the bad bitches or whatnot I don't feel like he's like that I feel like he likes women that have that very like nurturing loving energy and for whatever reason I feel like maybe he's come off the wrong way to these women um maybe they just maybe he's also misunderstood these women like he might have seen these women as like queen of cups types but like they might not actually be queen of cups types they might be um they, they might be more like queen of swords types, but he didn't recognize it. You know, like deep down, they're more of a queen of swords, but like on the surface level, to him, they look like a queen of cups. Like they appear 
it's almost like his like his intuition is off when it comes to women. So he might have met a lot of women that were like fake or shallow or um, just, you know, not really looking for love, emotionally unavailable, you know, so many different things. But for whatever reason, it's like he felt like they were nurturing and loving. And I feel like he got rejected by these women or he got just let down and disappointed. Like he got to know them and it, it wasn't he realized that they weren't actually like a queen of cups type because I think he's a king of cups. It could even be like loneliness and projection. Like maybe he was looking for someone who was, you know, emotionally open and and gentle and loving like he is. And so maybe he just like found that in all the wrong places. Like he pretended like it was there, even though it wasn't really there. Does that make sense? Like he had all these queen of swords types around him. Um, like maybe like these women that like think they're bad bitches or whatever. Um, and he was just lonely. He was tired of looking for someone like this. He was tired of looking for a queen of cups type. So he kind of just pretended like he had already found that. You know what I mean? It's like he didn't want to keep looking. He didn't want to keep being alone. He didn't want to keep being single. He's like, you know, maybe there's more to this woman or maybe there's more to that woman. But it's like disappointment, loss, rejection is what he ended up facing. Um, he, yeah, there was some very painful truths that I think this man learned and it ended with a ten of swords. This could even be with his last ex where I, I don't think that she was what he expected. Um, King of Cups, Three of Wands. Yeah, so I think now he's just been kind of waiting for his person. He's just been sort of, he's like back in his King of Cups energy again. Tell me more about this. Queen of Swords, death. He might have even had a type, and I feel like whatever he went through, it's like there was an ending here, and I feel like it kind of, he transformed. I feel like that's not his type anymore if it was in the past. Tell me more about them. Tell me more about... So I feel like this is the same person here, honestly. He has a King of Cups side, an emotional, uh, romantic side. Maybe he doesn't let most people see it, but he does have it. Um, and I think on a more day-to-day -day level, he's more of a King of Pentacles, like more um, goal-oriented, money-oriented, uh, you know, stable, grounded. But overall, it's good energy. I'm surprised he hasn't come out of as a king of wands. It's almost like I feel like she might be more outspoken or adventurous and passionate than he is, but they're still going to really balance each other out in a lot of ways. I think she's going to bring out that king of wands side in him, and I think he's going to bring out this side of her as well. Anyway, tell me more about this couple. Why the anxiety? Because it's, it's like, it's really interesting energy because it's like the Three of Pentacles is, is teamwork. It's people building together. And then Six of Swords, it's like moving things from rough waters to calmer waters. Like both of them could have been very damaged in past relationships. Maybe they have very similar experiences. And I feel like they're moving forward together. Like they're building together. They're, they're building trust. They're building loyalty. They're they're pursuing something here, even if it's in the beginning stages. Why the anxiety? Page of Cups. Oh, someone's afraid of rejection. They might actually both be afraid of rejection. I mean, I feel like this would apply if it's an old person, but I feel like this is especially for those of you that this is new. I think that... It's like you guys are both seeing something here. You're both seeing some potential here, but you're both afraid of rejection because Page of Cups can be a love offer. I mean, pages are also, I mean, they're messages. They can also represent children since they're like the youngest court card of the deck, of the decks, you know, the pages. They're right below the knights. Um, I almost feel like they're worried that you won't feel like what they have to offer is enough or... It's like maybe if they were dating someone and they left that person for you, they don't want you to know or they don't. I mean, for some, I don't think they're even dating this other person if it's new. For some, I think it's just an ex that they were considering going back to. 
I think I'm going to do another reading on that. Let me know if this is your, if this is resonating with you guys, because I think I might do a reading for this King of Pentacles to kind of go into what would happen if he went back with that ex, because I don't get a great vibe from it, honestly. Um, but there's anxiety. I almost feel like you guys are both having anxiety. I don't know if this is just him, because it's like you guys really do want to build something here. You do want peace and stability. It's almost like... Um, it's almost like one or both of you is also afraid of letting go of the past and you're afraid of letting go of the pain. Because it's, it's so interesting because it's like six of swords, like I said, is about moving things from rough waters to calmer waters. It's like teamwork, stability, but it's like someone's having anxiety about that, which is it's a really positive thing. But I think someone's having anxiety because they're like, well, what, you know, what's over here it's like unfamiliar it's like well is this really going to be better is this going to be stable um i'm used to the rough waters kind of like i'm familiar with the rough waters i'm familiar with pain i'm familiar with the normal type of person i've dated and this is very new this is very different you know like i said it's like these two are very they're they're not they're not like a normal match but they're going to balance each other out and there's there's love there this is a soulmate connection i feel um but yeah, it's like some one or both of them wants to, it's like, even though they want to build together, they're, it's like, they're just kind of afraid of um, leaving behind what they're familiar with. And I think they're having anxiety about potentially getting rejected. Because it's like, she doesn't know how he feels. He doesn't know how she feels. Maybe they're both kind of playing it cool. Let's see. Hmm, this is really interesting. It's not the reading I was expecting today, but okay. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, someone's still holding on to the past. Someone still is still, yeah, someone's holding on to past heartbreak. And it doesn't mean that they're holding on to an ex. Like, they could be completely over an ex, but they might just be holding on to the betrayal, the cheating, the disappointment, all of that. You know what I mean? Judgment, Tower, Emperor. I feel like... I feel like this Tower is a positive thing, but let me ask. Because the Tower is like sudden overnight changes. Let me ask here. Is the Tower a positive thing? Yeah. Yeah. What I feel like, okay, so I, I feel like, you know, both of them, there's an interest between them. If this is new, it's like there is, you know, mutual attraction or mutual interest and both kind of, you know, like a curiosity. Um, and we've been channeling new love for a while. It's been like a couple months or so that this has been coming. Um, I almost feel like she's going to be, this Queen of Wands is going to be pushed into making a judgment call because the tower is going to come in. And I feel like he might actually say something forward, like he might ask her out or he might compliment her in a very direct way. Or it's like he's going to say something that lets his interest be known. So she's not going to be in the dark anymore. I feel like she's going to see him as the emperor. I feel like whatever, whatever this tower is, it feels positive. I think there's a very strong sexual energy between these two as well, or there will be. Um, yeah, this tower just, what I'm channeling, it feels positive to me. It feels like this judgment call is connected to this tower, where it's almost like she's staying stagnant a little bit because of past heartbreak, but it's like, I think he's going to, it's almost like his spirit guides might push him to make a move on her. And I feel like that's going to kind of show her that, this man is an emperor because she might not be sure right now. She might not be sure about him. Even if she's attracted, she might not be sure who he is, what he's about, if he's interested, you know, same with him. He's not, he's, he sees her as the queen of wands, but, um, 
you know, Queen of Wands can be a little dramatic and crazy even. So maybe, maybe he's not even sure if she's like a positive Queen of Wands or more of the negative aspects of a Queen of Wands. But um, anyway, I feel like he's going to say or do something that's going to cause a tower moment, but in a good way. And it's going to help her make a judgment call. And I feel like she's going to see him as the emperor. The emperor is like daddy energy. That's like, ooh, that's that's very sexy, like alpha, like genuine alpha male energy. Not like, not macho bullshit energy, like just being overly competitive and aggressive for no reason. I mean, like the emperor is the, like he takes care of things. You know, he's strong. He's assertive. He's emotionally available. He's open, at least in this context, what I'm feeling. He's not always like that, but in this spread, I'm feeling like this is an emperor that is, you know, open and available and knows what he wants and goes after what he wants. Um, or he's going to once he gets the clarity he needs on her. I feel like there's a new start here between them. Tell me more. <laughs> Tell me more about this couple. This King of Pentacles and Queen of Wands. I was going to say that she has to walk away from people like that breadcrumb her. But I also think actually think this might be him because I think he's having to be the king of swords with this ex or someone from his past for some. For others, like I said, maybe it's already wrapped up and he was just on the fence about going back to her out of loneliness. But now he's deciding not to. But it's it's almost like he's got to stand strong and set boundaries and, and wrap that cycle up, whatever that karmic cycle is. I'm going to do another reading on this, probably not today, but I mean, it will be up within the next, uh, the next couple days or so here. Um, I'm going to do a reading for him on, on what happens if he goes back with his ex. For some, she's not going to like being rejected and he's going to have to stand his ground and stay committed to this Queen of Wands. Seven of Wands, the world. Four of Swords. It's interesting because I almost feel like this reading is more for him. Usually I channel more of the feminine energy in the deck, but for some reason I feel like I'm channeling him more than I am her in this spread. Um, so I almost feel like with this coming out, I almost feel like deep down he kind of is a king of wands. Like he is as passionate and adventurous as her. He is out, as, as outspoken as her. Maybe he's just been in a position where he's had to be more in, like, King of Pentacles energy, more stable, more grounded, or he's learned to be that way. Um, but I almost feel like with him wrapping these karmic cycles up, I feel like he's going to come back to this side of himself in a really positive way. It's like he's going to rediscover part of himself through her, through this connection. So, so yeah, it's like they actually are a divine match. I mean, this is really good energy here. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this reading up. Um, like I said, I'm going to do another one soon too. Um, yeah, just check back. Thank you guys for, thanks for commenting. Like if this resonates, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Maybe there's someone on social, on your social media that needs to hear it. Um, anyway, I really appreciate you guys watching.